to understand people and be in their shoes. Thank you. Hi, hi guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. I'm Faith Revis from East Africa, Kenya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, currently working at Saudi Arabia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for your support, my returning subscribers and my viewers. I'm really grateful. I cannot just take you for granted. May God bless you all and welcome to today's vlog, today's video. I wanna, this is the most asked question by some of, some of you have been asking me why do people normally go to Arabs country why can't they stay in their country and work there or start a small business these are the some of the reasons why we normally came here our female with female and men we normally come here and my first point is looking for green pastures yeah we came here some people came to look for green pastures either to feed their family to find money save money to pay their bills that is the one of the reason we normally came here to find for green pastures number two is lack of employment in our countries yeah lack of job opportunities in africa Majority of people are graduate with degrees and diplomas, but there are no employment, there are no jobs, they are not employed. You will find someone, it's very hard to cater even their bills or in, the, in this, their basic needs and they are graduate. So they decide to come to these countries, either someone decides to come to Arab country to work as a house guard which is better than staying in our country with depression, with your papers, and they are not working for you. That's why some normally came here because of, and majority came here because of lack of employment in our countries. You will found someone is a graduate, is a professional, but the person, the salary they are being paid is very little to sustain their uh, living standards. Their living standard versus their uh, education is very low, which is very sad. People, they care about our country, they care about someone being educated. They look most than creating job opportunities. Though now, especially in our country, Kenya, they, are, they have already changed the system of education. They concentrate about skills, not only about books, which is very helpful. And when someone discover him or herself at tender age, someone can benefit by working by herself, not waiting for the government or for the sectors, private sectors to employ them. So that is the major problem the the education curriculum people are told to to go to school have degree and get employed to get a job security they are not we are not taught about to start business or about skills there before but now they have already in our country kenya congratulations because they have started <clears throat> another new curriculum education curriculum where they will concentrate with children's, children's talents and skills, yeah, and which is very helpful to them. Yeah. Another thing, which is still common, uh, some people, they, they want to start a business, but if you found you are, maybe you are employed in Kenya, the salary is very little, you cannot save and pay bills so you they decide to come here and they save they have this when they save and they go and start small business or they start an investment yeah now and this which is good 
rather than staying there you are not progressing in your life you are just there and you cannot die being employed it's good to start something you was yeah that's some they came here because they want capital they are looking for capital and if you are disputing with your money you spend less than you use you spend less than you, you save more you will get what you want the ritual we get here if you spend it wisely you can it can help you yeah not that massive but it can at least make you take you somewhere don't mistake me i did not say here we, we come to we don't come to prak money it's not praking we have to work and we struggle we suffer we sacrifice to work so the ritual you get if you use it wise or you spend you you sacrifice and you spend less then you save and you save more you can take yourself somewhere yeah with god favor and another thing uh there are some people came here because they want to educate their siblings maybe they have younger siblings and their parents cannot be able to to take them to colleges and universities there are some people you found they just come with that purpose of educating his or her, her siblings yeah and they save ritual they get and they they educate them which is good because education is best and also you find there are those young girls and young boys fresh fresh from high school and their parents cannot sustain they cannot afford to pay for their school fees at colleges and universities and they have already qualified they 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 decide to come here sacrifice for two or three years and then they go back and go back to school which is very good and good idea instead of sitting there getting buried at tender age or doing working work which is not productive or which won't help you my sister or my younger sister there or my younger brother you better came this countries they are good and with good people which you can benefit and you can take yourself at school you only save money and also you go back to school and you continue good with your life yeah you can attain your goals you can achieve your dreams yeah same some come because of that reason another thing which is kind of for the disclaimers i'm not i'm not propose i'm not proposing people to divorce because this is kind of sensitive some people they they just left left and came lost and came here because they want to rest from the spoil they are lovers they are wives and they are husband why because maybe they have been disturbing them maybe they have get divorced they have divorced and they are still following them they are threatening them especially now you can see or people are killing each other because of this rap or because of jealousy instead of somebody someone killing other persons son or daughter you better you better lost for your safeness yeah which is good some they lost because of that you find someone don't want to move on you just divorce but they don't they, they are not accepting the reality they are just following you back now you find most of people they know my lost and came these countries if you came they came here to this state for three to two years that person will forgot about them and they will move on with the life and the moment you are going back he or she has already moved on and you are done with them if you the moment they got here they broke them and then they forget about them which is good rather than someone killing you or threatening you or cutting your legs or hands harming you it's better to rest for your life to save your life if someone is threatening you and you have tried all means for security purposes not working 
best apply that passport and came these countries and you know this here is not leisure but you can save your life and also you can better your life because you find most people mostly in marriage they fight because of money you find because of money they are not trusting each other with money or they are just in security either way you divorce or you someone is disturbing you you better came these countries and there are so many people they came because of that reason no no any other reason the other things are good maybe when they they were working they had money they had cars yeah? they are developed but for their own safeness they decide to trust you find others go even in europe and they they work there yeah it's better than someone coming here to stay there and then someone kiss you most of people have been killed because of jealousy or misunderstanding or quarreling things in the crowd are so different yeah I want to wrap my video here today, my guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy watching, and suggest on the commenting section what brought you here. <laughs> I know there are so many reasons or any other thing you know. This is part one. I will do part two because reasons to come here, and also for the disclaimers or some people who normally ask these questions. We don't came here for Russia, my friend. Please, no one will, will, will ever admire to come these places to work here. The kind of life we pass through here, not everyone can can survive here because here needs strong people, someone who is strong and someone with a purpose and someone who is so ready to, to overcome all challenges. It's not that we are so strong. We do it through knowing we are attaining our goals and we came here with a purpose. So come here with a purpose. And you, you who mistaken people by coming here, understand them. Try to understand them. There are so many reasons in the crowd. If you are living a better life in your country, well and good. Thank God for that. We wish we could be able to live a better life in our countries. We did not come here for Russia. We did not come here vacation. We work here with, without to off. You work two, more than two years. Even one day you have never been given a off, any off by someone. We work even when we are sick. You are sick, you cannot be able to carry yourself to the washroom but someone is expecting you to work so it's not easy we don't came here for racial picture this is not a staycation we came we came here because of some some things just push us it's very rare you find someone came here without anything pushing her or him without any purpose those people you hear them complaining in the media or they are spreading bad, bad rumors a majority of our girls, they are crying on the media. There are those people who came here because they want to board our flight. And they came. They want to come here because they, they had their friend are here. Or one of their members was here. Or they want just people to know someone go, Hey, I'm at Dubai, I'm at Qatar, I'm Iraq, I am Kuwait, I'm at Saudi Arabia. Oh my God. If you came here with those reasons, you won't survive here. You will come here and find things in the crowd, they are so different and you cannot be able to, you can't be able to work, you cannot survive. So, you don't come here for Russia, listen to this today, or you will try to understand. Yeah, some people, they have just the literal ones there, and they decide to left them because they want them to better their lives. Oh, someone is a single mother, don't have anybody to take to look for. She, she don't have a job. Some have single fathers. What can they do? They don't have job. They don't have businesses. They just left their children back at home so that they can come to better their lives or educate them. So when you, you are talking something, please try to, to understand people and 
enter in the issues enter in the issues this this life here is not that simple or the way people think okay, we know my risky here it is risky we do not risk maisha we don't come here to enjoy please we came here to risk it's a risk because even you don't know who will you will find you don't know the kind of life you will be living there but we trust god we trust the process and we risk it we came here to risk it yeah but god is good so far so good we risk it but god has been there for us if you are living a better life in our country or in our countries not everybody living that life try to understand people and be in the issues thank you guys for watching i want to wrap my video here kindly remember to support me by subscribing please subscribe subscribing is free